Hey, what's up, YouTube? Sports School 77 here. Uh, coming to you with an idea that I had last night for a new uh, feature. Or, uh, I'm going to call it, it, it How Did You Get Into Yu-Gi-Oh? Oh, uh, I don't know if anybody's done this before. I haven't seen it, uh, even on some of the big players' channels or anything like that. So, if some if, if some of you guys know of other people that have done this, is that's cool. Uh, I'd like to see that actually. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about how I got started playing the game, and, and I'm interested not just to see comments. And on how y'all got started in the game, but I would love if some of you guys would do video responses and and kind of kind of so I can get a feel, for, you know, for for your experiences personally. Uh, so yeah, uh, so guys, uh, as you know, uh, it, oh, if you want to tell me about how you got started in the game, I'd love to hear it. But for for me, um, uh, it was. Right after Yu-Gi-Oh had just the, the, had uh, had just come out, it was the it was the start of the game, and, and I was staying in uh, Virginia with my aunt and uncle, or uh, and I walked into my cousin's room one night, and, and he's sitting on his bed, and he's got these cards all over his bed, and he's talking on the phone, uh, on and. And he, I'm at, I asked him what he's doing, and he's he's like, hey, hey well, uh, uh, I'm playing cards. And I was like, how can you play cards by yourself? And he's like, I'm not playing cards by myself. I'm playing with, and with my friend on the phone. And so, I thought that that sounded like the stupidest thing I'd ever heard. Honestly, you know how how can you play cards with somebody over the phone? So I sit down and. and Watch for a little bit. I have no idea what's going on. On on the only thing I the only thing I realized is from watching it was is how do you actually know that uh you know this this is just regular phone conversation. How do you know that what that he's got what he says he has? I don't know what any of it does, but uh, I, I could realize you know that without being able to see his cards, you you don't know what he's doing. So. Uh, uh, so, uh, I, I watched for a little bit, and then I got frustrated because I didn't understand, man, what was going on, and so I left the room, and I was talking to my uncle about it, it and, uh, my, probably, I don't know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes later, my cousin gets off the phone and comes in there, and, and I, and I, uh, and I'm curious about the game a little bit now, I, uh, uh, I didn't even know what it was, and I was like, "Hey, Andrew, you gotta show me this thing. You know, you got you gotta tell me hey, what this game is that you're playing with your friend on the phone, and then what's been, what's taking up like the last hour something of your time." And and then so we go back into his room, and he starts starts showing me his his cards and stuff like that, and telling me what what his favorite cards are and what does what and I still have no idea about any of it and so he says well you know the best way for you to learn is to start playing and I was like Andrew I'm not gonna go spend my money on some cardboard or uh, you know to play some game with you and he, he's like well, no 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 well, I'll, I'll give you some of my cards and so he made me a deck and uh, back then, and uh, the best card he uh, that I had in the deck that he gave that he made me, he, he was a red eyes, uh, and I think I think his best card was a blue eyes. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, he, he had he had better stuff than I did, it, it, and since I had no idea what I was doing and, and we, we would play and he would beat me yeah, and then and uh, he didn't exactly understand all the rules it was, it was, he was he was going based on what his friend was telling him and his friend was supposedly 
you know, the guru of the game or whatever and all this kind of stuff. And so, uh, I took the rule book that I got. I, I, um, my aunt started buying us as packs and I bought some with some of the money that I was working with for. Or, and we started getting more cards and I, and, and I got, I bought a, some, I think it was a structure deck or something that had the rule book in it. Yeah, and I started reading that, that thing and, and realizing that some of the stuff that what he was telling me wasn't right and, and you know, tr trying to get him to understand that. And still, I didn't understand a lot of things about it, even from what, what I was reading, uh, because of what he was saying, mostly, and because of what his friend, and who knew everything, supposedly, was telling him. But, anyway, so, uh, we would play at night, eight, eight, and it got to be pretty much all we did. It, when, whenever he wasn't in at school and I wasn't working, and uh, when we when we got back at night, eh, we would play Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, and we got to playing so much Yu-Gi-Oh uh, oh, that uh, finally, eh, one night my uncle came in and to go. He was getting ready to go to bed, and he came in to tell us good night before we went to bed. And and he said, and you know, y'all are still playing that. Y'all have been playing that for hours. What is it about this thing? You know, you you you're, you're Fairly young um, uh, and kids, it is, and, and you're you got video games, you've got all kinds of stuff to to entertain yourself, and all you do is play this card game. And I have to know what it is about this thing, and so, you no. Know, instead of going to bed, he ends up sitting there and watching uh, me and my cousin play a a, a game. For a while, and he, he, I could tell he was getting interested in it, like, like seriously. It, it was intriguing to him, and he stopped. He was stopping us to us to ask, you know, well, why that? Why is that car different colored? You know, why? Is, what does that do? Why does that go there? All this kind of stuff. Up, and so finally, he, after after he watched us that night. And he went to bed, and he he still didn't know a lot more than what he knew before that, but he was interested in it. And when when my cousin, when my uncle gets interested in something, and he, he'll find out about it. And so, oh, oh, he he took the rule book and he started reading it, it, it and he decided it, that the next time and that we went to town, and that he got my aunt to pick him up some cards and he started uh, collecting and and made himself a deck and started playing and and it uh, somewhere in there my I had another cousin that started playing too so every night a my uncle my two cousins and me would play Yu-Gi-Oh and it, it, it you know it's it, it was a real bonding time Fun family get together, but uh, I don't know about how y'all's families are. Uh, but my family, a uh, we can stand and each other to a certain extent. And, and if if somebody does something to piss one of, of us off, I'm sorry for the language, guys. As I know, I probably got some kids on my channel, but uh, that that shouldn't be too big of a worry for y'all. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys do have TV and stuff. <laughs> uh, anyway. Hey, but uh, yeah. Uh, so if if one of us got mad at about something, and you know, we we were liable to not talk to each other for a few days or something, something. And so you know, uh, and it and it, it caused all kinds of arguments playing playing Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, and stuff. But it was still something that brought us together, and it was a good thing. And eventually, yeah, this this video is getting long, but eventually, it, it, uh, I ended up. Uh, coming back to Oklahoma, uh, some of you guys know I'm an Oklahoma player, or, uh, and I got back and uh, came to stay with my parents, and my parents' house us is out in the middle of the country, and I and my the nearest locals was two hours away, is two hours away, and uh, 
I wasn't having anybody to play with, if and so, you know, um, I was doing the same thing my cousin did, did to start with. I was calling him up and playing with him over the phone. And one night, my youngest brother comes in and and sees me playing cards on the phone. And the same thing I did when I started. It it and. He thought it was even stupider than I did, and, and, and he and he said, "You know, you're you're wasting your time. Why are you why are you playing cards on the phone?" But my my two younger brothers are very very close. Was, I mean, they they get along better than most brothers, I would say. And and so my middle brother, er, uh, he got a little bit enthralled by it, 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 but you know what? What are you doing? Why? Why are you doing this? Why are you wasting your time with this? It's, and so oh, I decided so to get in order to get myself somebody to play with. I would make both of them decks. So I made both of them decks, and we started playing. And and my youngest brother, or er, by, by this time, um, you know, we, we, we have gone a few years. Is into Yu-Gi-Oh, and and you know there there was more uh, effects, more more rulings and stuff like that going on. So my youngest brother started researching it, it, and he and he found out that some of the stuff I was telling him, which was some of the stuff I got from my cousin and his friend, and wasn't right. And so, uh, you know, it was kind of hard for me to re to you know realize that he my my youngest brother who I had gotten into the game was learning more about it than I was and he started to uh be better at card rulings and then he, and he still is to this day. I mean and, uh he he judged uh, the YCS in Dallas last year. He was one of the judges for it. And I uh, I went and played but he was one of the judges for it and it it was funny where there was actually a situation where he had to he had to come to uh our ta the table I was playing at and, and do a card ruling and that was Kind of, kind of funny that to act like you know I didn't know him and he's my brother and stuff and it was you know he's just a judge or whatever. Anyway, hey, but um, yeah, so he he got more knowledgeable on it, it, it and the more knowledgeable he got, the better me and my other brother got and and first thing you know, uh, all three of us us were pretty pretty good duelers. There is, and then, and uh, we had heard about how that, that that there was a place in Oklahoma City at the mall uh, that they, that they played Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh oh, and we decided to go up to a tournament. First tournament we had ever gone to. It, uh, I, I'm trying to remember what deck I was running the first. I was running a warrior, uh, some kind, some type of warrior variant, if I remember correctly. A, a, uh, and we went up there to that tournament, and all three of us, with our vast knowledge and what great Yu-Gi-Oh players we were, we got our butts kicked, kicked big time. Had no idea uh, some of the stuff of. Uh, it uh our first tournament and and uh the, the the first time I ever saw a synchro monster come out out I was like what is that you know this is I don't know this stuff and so uh oh it was it was a learning experience for us and uh I'm a very competitive person and and for the most part, I mean, and I, I don't, I don't take it overly seriously. If I lose, fine. Um, but, but I like to, I like to compete. I, I don't like to get my butt kicked. And so, uh oh, um, I started figuring out, and I realized immediately that that deck that I was trying to run was not competitive for for the game that was playing. And, and, um, there was a light swarm. Earn player there, er, er, uh, the, the some of the light sworn stuff had started coming out, and there was a light sworn player there. I actually think he was running uh, 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 Twilight, some kind of Twilight variant or something, something. And I and I said, okay, 
Hey, that guy's doing really well. What cards are he is he using? And you know, I found out that Light Swarm earned, earned was what I wanted to run. That's how I started running Light Swarm, and I've been running Light Swarm ever since. And so, uh, my brother, my middle brother, he's maybe more competitive than I am, and he he doesn't like losing at anything. And, and so he decided that the best way for him to be competitive it was to get better cards than everybody else to where if whatever it was he wanted that he would have something to trade to people to get the cards that he wanted and, and so uh, he started working on buying cards or, or, and boosting his stuff and I started working on trading from mine and, and actually my youngest brother er, uh, did better than both of us to start with if and he 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 was running a deck uh, tomato control a uh, uh, fiend fiend based tomato control. Uh, I don't know if you guys is, have ever seen that deck, hey, but anybody anybody that's that's an OKC player that's ever dueled against my brother with that deck, hey, they all say the same thing. Damn, that's annoying. And 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 you 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 sit there and you you think and, and well he's not doing anything he's not doing anything and but but he is. He is like he's like a good chess player. He's he's beating you several moves in in advance, and you you think that they, everything's going for you, and and you don't realize that, you're, that he's setting you up to finish you off. And so, anyway, I'm, I, I may I may I may a, uh, at some point do a deck profile on that on that deck for you guys that haven't seen it. But uh, yeah, this video is getting really long, guys. But but I just wanted to, that's, that's pretty much how I got started, and I'm interested to know how some of you guys got started. Uh, like I said, you know, you can comment on this and, and tell me how you got started, but I'd really like to see some of you do some video responses and actually see you guys tell me your stories, your experience, and how, how, what the game, how you got into the game, and what it means to you, and all that kind of stuff, and yeah. Anyway, guys, uh... Uh, if 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 you like this idea that I had in, in this video, you know, thumbs up it. It would be appreciated. It uh, comment, subscribe, all like that. At and um, go check out my other videos. Go check out uh, the mats I've got for sale and trade. And I know I've had a couple people talk to me about them. Uh, nobody's nobody's made a, a, a you know trade yet for one, any of them or bought any of them. But yeah, just go go check that stuff out and. I'll be back later with more content, and uh, I'm, I'm, I may do some more of these episodes like this. So if you like it, thumbs up, guys. Thanks. Peace, YouTube.